Hi there, I'm Andrew McCready, Senior Editor at Driving.ca, and today we're driving the top-of-the-line Tesla Model S. That would be the P90D. So a full battery pack, biggest battery pack, all-wheel drive, and um, it also has ludicrous mode. Now this company has made a lot of uh, news about things like ludicrous mode and um, charging stations, networks, things like that. But this model is equipped with perhaps the most advanced feature the Tesla S has ever had, and that is autopilot. And autopilot is essentially a sem sem semi-autonomous driving system that will take control of the car and steer it and brake it and uh, keep you in lanes and even has an auto lane change system, which I'm about to demonstrate here. So uh, how this works is you're driving on the highway, um, it's using a camera, it's using a radar system, and it's using um, sensors around the car, kind of similar to the ones that you'll find in cars to park, um, to sense objects. So it's using all these pieces of hardware to read the road and to read objects in front of us. So here we go. Um, what you look for on the screen are two icons. There's the steering wheel icon, which shows auto steering is available, and also the cruise control is available. So what I do is I've got the car in between two lines. This cruise control stock down here. I'm going to tap it twice, and that's going to activate the autopilot mode. So here we go. I'm going to get it up to 90 kilometers. Double tap. Now the car is driving itself. I don't have my foot on the accelerator. Bit of a turn there. Coming up to another turn here, so you're gonna really see how this works. Again, I'm not touching anything. My foot's off the controls. And here we go around this gradual corner using the cameras to read the lines. Um, it's amazing, simply put. And now we'll give it a shot doing the auto lane change. So I still do a shoulder check to make sure nobody's there. Activate the turn signal and again it takes me into the lane and all I have to do is turn the signal off. We've got lots of traffic coming up here so let's see I'm just going to keep my hands here to make sure everything's okay. That's kind of how you should operate the car at all times anyway. See as the car is in front I can feel it applying the automatic braking. And now it just gets into the stream and now we're accelerating a little and now we're just going to follow this car in front of us. So really this car for all intents and purposes is autonomous. Again we're going around a corner steering itself.